Today, we'll discuss important information about smoking cessation. Hello, I'm Dr. Patrick O'Shaughnessy, Catholic Health Services of Long Island's Executive Vice President and System Chief Medical Officer. Welcome to Dr. O's Health Tips and Solutions. Today, we will discuss important information about smoking cessation. My goal is to bring you information that will help you live a healthier life. With so many experts out there, it's hard to know what is factual and what is not. I'd therefore like to share with you truth in medicine. With no spin, no marketing, just the simple unvarnished truth, as well as some trusted sites for information you can reference from home. I hope you will find this information beneficial, and I wish you a healthier, happier life. Today, we will be discussing the risks of smoking and smoking cessation. Smoking is still the number one public health problem responsible for more disease uh, than any other entity. As with all of my tips, I'd like to offer one great source of truth. And this one is from the American Cancer Society at www.cancer.org. Go to this site and search Quit Smoking. There you will find material about the risks of smoking, a Quit for Life overview, and tips and treatments for overcoming tobacco addiction. And it is an addiction. The American Cancer Society states that smoking cigarettes kills more Americans than alcohol, car accidents, HIV, guns, and illegal drugs combined. Smoking doesn't just cause cancer, it can damage nearly every organ in the body. Now, in the medical profession, we often hear, Doc, don't tell me why I should quit. Tell me how I can. The first step is deciding to stop smoking. Without a sincere commitment, no option will be successful. Start with a plan. Outline why you want to quit, when and how. Make sure you have a support system in place. The American Cancer Society's website details the steps to quit and offers choices from nicotine replacement and prescription medication to going cold turkey. You can also try filters, smoking deterrents to curb nicotine cravings, e-cigarettes, and even acupuncture to name just a few alternatives. Don't forget to address the mental aspect of tobacco addiction. Common withdrawal symptoms include anger, anxiety, sadness, trouble concentrating, and a sense of loss. Quitting will cut your risk of lung and other cancers and reduce your chances of coronary heart disease. Help your body help itself. Food will taste better, your sense of smell will increase, and your teeth and fingernails will also stop yellowing. You can find all of these tips and more at the American Cancer Association's website, again, at www.cancer.org. That's my tip for today. For more health information, watch CHS Presents Health Connect, airing on Catholic Faith Network and CBS TV 55. To view recent episodes, go to CHS's YouTube channel.